hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to define a background job in sap okay uh, let me explain it in a, another way so i need to let's assume i need to circulate sap report monthly basis for set of users right so i can uh, schedule that one no need of manual intervention of myself so in SAP automatically generate that, that email and send to set of users. Okay. To do that, the T code is uh, SM36. Before starting this one, you need to do two things. First, you need to create the report variant. Assume the report that you need to circulate on monthly basis is MB51. Then in that report, you will you need to create the variant. Second one is you need to create the distribution list distribution list means the set of email addresses or users that you need to circulate this report to do that t code is so15 okay first i'll explain how to create the report variant i'll go to my report this is the mb51 let's say i need to run this report for the plan plan thousand and movement type one zero one right? i'll give the parameters that uh, i need to run this report and this posting date it will be variable right uh, let's assume i need to run this for 30 days i will run this report on the first day of each month for previous 30 days right so let's remove this one this one no need and i say Press save icon, save as variant, and I give the name. Let's say you can give a new name, right? Is it MB circulate or something? Fifty-one circulate, any name that you want. And here I have my variable field, right? So here you have to select the posting date as D and from here click this one. There are multiple options I'm not going to explain everything because it takes time and every uh, these things has different functionalities okay so you can try those things and for this example I'm going to use this one date minus xsx date plus xsx okay here also you can give the the you can write the condition it will consider the less than or equal greater than or equal to some date or something right so i'll double click on this one then it will generate this one let's say from the first day of month i need to run this report for previous 30 days it means the day that you want to run this report minus xxs so need i need to put 30 and future dates from today to future i don't need any date so i can put uh, zero okay and calendar you need to select the calendar from the list and i press this one okay now my variant is okay now i press save right now my variant is save now i go back to the transaction is it mb51 let's see how this variant will work right then i will select this variant icon this is my variant so i select that one see this field filled and the posting date also filled so two date is today's date and the from date is 6th uh, June, 27th of June, right? So it has considered the previous 30 days. Okay. Now my variant is done. Now the next step is to create the distribution list, the list of emails that I need to circulate this report. So the transaction code is this. So 15 I'm here there are two options I can create a private distribution list or shared distribution list if I create a private distribution list 
this distribution list be list will only be visible to my user id right if i create create a shared user distribution list is it will be visible visible to all okay so i'll create new one shared one and here you can give any meaningful name let's say is that mb51 title and the folder also you need to create a new folder i create new shared folder give a name that's okay now press continue now go to this distribution list content okay here you can give the email addresses of the users let's say amid.hj at gmail.com and the second user is uh, sugit at aa at yahoo.com so here you can define the type of this user let's say these are the external addresses and here you can define whether this email should go as an express mail whether the yeah, is the user sh should be cc or bcc let's say this user is the cc user so i'll click this one like this you can add any number of emails okay i save this vision list i go back see under the shared distribution list i have zmb51 if i click this one i have two email addresses so again edit this one anytime okay like this way now the two steps is done now i go to the uh, sm36 transaction to schedule the background job sm36 26 36 okay here this is the easiest way we can use job wizard okay i click that one and i press continue i give the job name is a mb51 circulate you can define the priority uh, let's say i give middle priority it means if in any case service is very busy or any bottleneck is there then this priority will be considered so you have to define the this target system and you press continue and you select this first option continue here you have to give the kbap program name of the report that you need to circulate so i go to mb51 again to find the kbap name go to system status this is the report name right rm07 docs that's the abap name so i go to sm36 again and i give the program name then i press variant so this is the variant that i have created if the this program is wrong the variant that you have created will not be visible here okay i will select that variant Press continue. Continue. Here we can select the spool list of recipient. Okay. I'll distribution list. So I search. I'll search. There is not much. There's only one, right? Mm, I press copy. That part is done continue now here the do job definition start condition you can choose immediately then immediately the email will be uh, is sent or, or else you can we can give date and time i select this option okay 
so I say this should be scheduled in the first day of next month okay give the schedule time it's better to give a time in the morning or night because the that time the survey is not very busy so I'll give three in the morning later start I'll give three ten okay so I'll consider this as a periodic job so I press continue I need to circulate this report monthly there are multiple options weekly daily hourly okay so my option is monthly see so everything is now done okay so i'll press complete button okay this message in the sense it's done so to check the status of the background report that i have defined you can go to sm37 okay so I give the use ID and give the description of my job CC let's say MB51 star and I execute it says okay here yeah, there should be a scheduled job now so I will run execute okay it's not giving Okay, remove the job conditions date and I run. Okay, here is it's coming right. This is the job that I have scheduled. It is the status is released. So if I double click it, see it has scheduled to first day of August 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So uh, that's it guys, thank you very much for watching this video, please subscribe my youtube channel.